Hey y'all, Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. If you're a long time viewer and subscriber, welcome back. And if you're brand new to this channel, smash that like and subscribe button so you can get notified for future content. And thank you for the opportunity to earn your subscription today. Well, everybody's been asking me my progress on the Valiant, so we've got a quick little video and show you where I'm at on it. And another thing is props. So go ahead and stay tuned. And we're back. Thanks for hanging out this long. So as many of you know, um, I advanced pretty quick uh, through my RC career. I only had one prop plane and that was my Valiant. My other one was a Bighorn. I had a Draco for like two days. Uh, but I do have the Valiant 10cc. So I'm not too familiar with props, more EDFs and turbines. So I went ahead and I got this Falcon uh, 12 by 8 prop. Because uh, I'm going to be running the Power 52 and 6S in here. And this one right here should give me enough uh, push for it. Now, when I go ahead and I get the shaft, it is a 51618. But when I get uh, my prop, my prop's only in a 6mm, which is roughly a quarter of an inch. So how do you get this hole enlarged without making it oblong? I had uh, I searched the internet and I seen people will use a drill press, use this and that. Um, I seen like two videos. Uh, on YouTube and basically they said get a reamer and ream it out well that doesn't help anybody so if you already know this please go ahead just continue watching if you don't know about this stay tuned because I learned something and you're gonna learn something so let's learn about reamers alright everybody like I said earlier if you've done this before just go ahead and pause the video and move on to something else but maybe you've been uh, in some bind and flies and now you want to do some hangar nine planes or some other planes that you need to actually do stuff like this. So we have right here, we have our 12 by 8 uh, Falcon wood prop. And we have right here, this is the Great Plains Step Reamer. Now this is the um, standard size. They do make standard and they do make metric. This one is a quarter inch. Uh, by 5 16 to 3 8 hole uh, The metric cuts 7 millimeter 8 millimeter 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter So let's go ahead and open this thing up All right, Got traditional tooling case go ahead and open it up wrapped in wax paper with some grease Go ahead and get this out if we could. And there's the reamer. And there's the T-handle. So that's pretty much it right there. So let's go ahead and let's get this right here. So as you can see, the first part of the reamer, it lines up the hole while the second part goes in. And all we're going to do, and you can hear that hopefully, on the video it sounds like a pencil being sharpened and we're just going to go ahead and continue to do this until we go ahead and we bore a hole all the way through now by no means is this going to be something quick as you can see so we're going to go ahead and continue doing this until we punch through all right we should be all the way almost broken through so I'll go ahead and take out the streamer and hopefully you guys can see it. I'm almost all the way through. I probably got about 0.1 inches to go. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with caution. Just shaving off a little bit at a time as we're going through. Letting the tool do the work. We're not, we're not jamming it through. Because if we did that, then we could oblong and uh, tilt the hole. We're just making sure that that's sending the pilot. And we are through. All right. I'm going to go ahead and continue turning the same way to go ahead and remove. And hopefully now this shaft will fit in the prop. And it does.
And don't forget, if you have to ream your prop, you most likely have to go ahead and re uh, ream your back plate for your spinner. So for that, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and start on this side. We're going to get this piloted in. I think I might be getting all the way through. It sure feels like it. All right. <clears throat> we broke through. So go ahead and gently pull this out. Go in the same way. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and see how this fits onto our motor. Perfect. All right. Make sure that's all the way down. All right. <clears throat> now we just got to make sure that we get this all the way to the back. So we might have to make this hole a little bigger. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of so we can get this seated all the way to the rear. All right. And we're back. And I did have to take a little bit of the reamer to hog this out so it sat all the way back flush. And we got our spinner on there. Now I do have this on just for the time being until I can go to Ace Hardware and get me a 516 by 18 nut. And we put our spinner on. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So let's see what it's going to look like on the plane. So, I have the motor mount mounted temporarily, and motor is going to go ahead and go right around there somewhere, more or less, and that's how she's going to be. But let's go ahead and show you guys how far I've come along on the plane. All right, as far as the wing, you can see the servos are already in. She's already wired, ready to go. There's the other wing. I have not done the tail yet. I was waiting to go ahead and get a majority of the work and the motor done. I still have to iron out some wrinkles right here. Had to order me a better iron. So I want to get all this done before I start mounting stuff and I wanted the wings complete. We're starting to get the motor done. We'll mount the motor and mount the ESC. That'll take care of the front end and we'll do a video on how to do the cowl. And let's go ahead and look inside. Still have to put the glass on this thing right here. But there's our receiver. We're going to be running. Uh, we had an 8 channel. So we have the 8360T. Let me put it right here. That's a receiver I had laying around. So that's what's going to get uh, put in here. I do have my two servos. My A6380s I believe they are. Right there. One for the elevator. One for the rudder. I uh, still have to do a little bit of wiring, put in the windows. I got the landing gear right there. I got to do the tires. But making slowly but surely progress. Um, I had to wait for a reamer to come in, so that took about a week. I ordered that on Amazon, but it wasn't a two-day shipping uh, deal. But that's about where we're at right now on it. Well, everybody, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Something a little new that I never had to do because most of the times I was buying, you know, the most of the ARFs were jets and stuff, so this is my first prop plane, so I had some new learning, decided to share it. Don't forget to go ahead and do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Noon's out. Get some!